tall and lean, darker complexion. Yeah, technically, who's this Frank and I could cosplay as Tuxedo Mask? What would that make a Nalan? If I was Sailor Moon, who's this Frank with Tuxedo Mask? Nalan would be... There's not a lot of dudes. He could be Malachite or whatever one of the bad dudes was. Mm. Larcina, thank you, Larks. It's so good to see you. Hey, Colleen here. Last call, last call. Welcome in. How are your streams? Sorry, I'm behind on chat. I'm drinking and I'm rambling. I know that I'm a little late because it's Saturday and I was uh, talking to someone special. <gasps> a new special someone? We gotta tell you about something. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Damn, bro. You're a baller. You meet all the ladies, aren't you? I'm so proud of you. I'm good going to start back on key tomorrow. I do meal prep for the whole week. Smart. Meal prep helps a lot. Larks is here. Mallard and Mountain Dew is okay. Is it? Is it? How did it turn out? Thank you, Frank, for the shout out to Larks. Uh, it was a stream. Thanks for that. Well, oh, come on. More, more details, though. Uh, oddball highballs. Oh, that's a good name. That's a good, oddball highballs are trending right now. So I made uh, a Suze, bitter gentian liquor, Mountain Dew. Ooh, what color is that? Like a teal color? Cause gentian, I imagine, is a blue color, cause that's the color of the flower. Mountain Dew's green. Is it like a, like a teal color? Root beer and green church. Root beer is brown, mixed with green. What color were all these? And Malot and everything. Oh my gosh. I like that you got freaky. I like that you got freaky with your cocktails. I appreciate that very much. Guy Shield, uh, happy to follow such an Asian influenced chef. Yes, Guy Shield, I am an Asian influenced chef. I am half Korean. I know I do not look half Korean. We blended lopsidedly. My brother came out looking very Asian. I came out looking very Irish. I'm Irish and Korean. Who the fuck thought mixing two drinking cultures and having a baby was a good idea? I don't even know, but that's what happened. I am Irish and Korean. My Korean mother is actually asleep downstairs and probably pissed off that I'm so loud, but my mom's in town right now. But yeah, we, we do. So I'm Korean. I grew up doing kendo. So a lot of my friends were Japanese growing up uh, in kendo. And then a majority of my friends in school were Southeast Asian. So we cook a fuck ton of fusion food on this stream. I think shy people maybe scream more than not shy people. Cat cat. I could see that. I could totally see that. Yeah. What's up? Oh yeah, that was basically Gundam. That I love Gundam, mostly because of Stompy Robots, but yeah. Not a very in-depth plot, but fun because there was mechs. Also a cocktail based on Fezzik from the Princess Bride! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Did you know we just did Princess Bride theme twice in a month, I think? So there was the anniversary of the movie Princess Bride where we did roasted R-O-U-S's. Ah, it was great. And then um, it was Carrie Ells, who plays uh, Wesley, also the Dread Pirate Roberts. It was his birthday on Tuesday, so we did the Dread Pirate Roberts rendang because my friend Robert was here and he was making rendang, which is an Indonesian beef curry dish. It was pretty funny, but we are, we are celebrating uh, Princess Bride that day too. That's awesome. I love Fezzik. I, I love the Princess Bride, one of my favorite movies. How are you, Hashtag, going? Pretty good, pretty good. I made a shit ton of meat today, and I put all that meat in my mouth with copious amounts of butter. I don't even know how to explain what we did today. We violated a, a ribeye and some duck, but this is what's left of it. I ate a lot, but I'm only 5'2", so I can't eat a lot. So we did a ribeye steak, and it's a take on a steak Diane. So we did basically a steak Diane sauce, but then we injected it. We injected the ribeye with the steak Diane sauce. Then we sous vide it. Sous vide it? Sous vide it. Then we did a reverse sear. I seared the shit out of it. And then after all that shit was done, we then poured uh, the sauce on top. And the sauce was then mixed with a whole bunch of other shit. Creamy, greatness, buttery, deliciousness. And we put that all on top, which is what that is right there. And then we also did that with duck, but the duck was roasted in the oven, or I'm sorry, the air fryer. And we, again, used the meat injector because that was today's Channel Point Redemption. And I injected it with garlic, which I should not have done because we're doing a vampire thing. So that doesn't fucking make sense. 
Oh well. So we did garlic, butter, and a little bit of truffle seasoning, and we injected that into the duck, and then we ate the duck. This is what the duck looks like. This is my husband's piece. He's not here because he ditched us to go to a Halloween party, which is why I busted out his fancy wine and drank it. That's what I did today. Honestly, an awesome Gundam anime that they never fully developed was a uh, Candidate Goddess. I don't remember that one. One of my favorite mech animes as a kid was Project Echo. I don't know if anyone has ever seen Project Echo. Fucking great anime. Awesome soundtrack, too. Ha, I just tell Malin he can be Bond. Okay, fair enough. He can, oh, you're, well, okay. To pull off Tuxedo Mask, one must be wearing the little masky thing. Once he sees the masky thing, he's going to know what's up. And then when I give him a rose, he's going to be like, the fuck? Like, mask plus rose equals Kathy's getting her freak on. Kathy just secretly wants to bang Tuxedo Mask and is using her husband. I would not deny that if it happened. Yeah. Uh, just tell Maladie, you know, yeah, fair enough. Tuxedo Mask is the shit. Yeah, 100%. To the point that I actually named my daughter Selena. Partially after Catwoman, partially after the fact that it's a very Sailor Mooney themed name, like Celine, Selena, Goddess of the Moon. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a Sailor Moon fan. I so my baby girl, she's two years old. She just upgraded to a big girl bed, a twin size bed. You know what this mama did? Fucking bought Sailor Moon sheets for her. That's right. She got Usagi bunnies all over her bed right now. She's two. She doesn't give a shit. But I'm super happy because my daughter's room is slowly turning into Sailor Moon themed. We went from Totoro and we're, we're migrating into a Sailor Moon themed room. Totoro was my now four-year-old's nursery. So he moved into a different room. We left the mural and everything up on the wall. And that's what Selena grew into. But now that she's getting older, I'm slowly getting away from the Totoro and I'm instilling all Sailor Moon shit into her room. Slowly but surely. This is the plot of Gundam in a nutshell. Also, there was a guy with a long white hair named Zex, but when it's pronounced, it sounded more like sex. So I remember my mom asking, what the heck I was watching one time when she heard his name being said. I was in middle school and obviously my mom didn't want me watching anything about uh, sexual back then. Fair enough. Good thing your mom never caught you watching Ninja Scroll. That's a joke of someone on YouTube, but... Oh, God, I watched Ninja Scroll in middle school. Wait, how old were you in middle school? Yeah, I watched... Somali and I are the same age. I think the exact same year. I watched Ninja Scroll in, like, the fucking seventh grade. You should not let your... I mean, how did I watch it? I think I must have found the, the cassette, the, the VHS in my older brother's room, and he's, like, eight years older than me. Dude, I was like, anime! I watched Ninja Scroll in middle school. You should not watch Ninja Scroll in middle school. That is not appropriate for kids. Yeah. What did I just come back to? Hedgy, we're talking about inappropriate shit. Iron Blooded Orphan S1, pretty solid. S2 was unnecessary. Interesting. Yeah, Who's This Frank has legs for days. It's awesome. Who's This Frank is actually, so people always talk on stream like my husband looks like a fucking giant compared to me because he's so tall. We have to baby proof the corners. That's what this rubber thing is. We have to baby proof the butter hood because my husband is so tall. Yeah. Hoses Frank was in my kitchen and he's taller than my husband. So between the two of them, I look like a freaking tiny person, like a hobbit. I was a hobbit between the two of them. Yeah. Hoses Frank's even taller than my husband. More similar, and yeah, Who's This Frank is more lean, and Tuxedo Mask is a very lean person. So yeah, they have a similar build, similar complexion, for sure. Uh, honestly, the original four baddies were the hottest. Kit Kat, 100% agree. I will say a lot of my crushes as a middle school, school and high school girl, most of them were on anime characters. Tamahome from Fushigi Yugi. Uh, Toya from Aishi no Sebis, which were the same artist. Obviously, Tuxedo Mask. I think I had a crush on Ranma for a hot second as well. Uh, Horong from Tekken, the video game. I had a huge crush on Horong. There's, yeah. In general, all of my crushes were on video game characters or animes as a kid. I don't know. I've been like, ew, you have a crush on a cartoon character? I was like, bitch, please. I had a crush on Raphael the Ninja Turtle in elementary school. Don't give me shit for having crushes on animated characters. I had a crush on a fucking turtle. Fight me. Fight me. Okay. 
Thank you, Geek Boy, for the signal boost. Sorry, we're, uh, my alert didn't fire off, and we're behind the chat, but thank you. Uh, apparently, I am, I'm, okay, apparently, in. So, I am in Crystal. The original for the bad guys were actual relationships with the scouts. Yes! In Crystal and in the manga. Yes. In Sailor Moon Crystal, the four Sailor Scouts were more or less all in relationships with the four um, baddies. The four baddies were technically goodies originally under Prince Endymion. And there's like Malachite, Zoysite, fuck, fuck, and fuck, fuck. I can't remember their names. But yeah, in Crystal and I think in the mangas, they were actually all hooked up, which is crazy. No pressure there. Yeah, thank you, Cat Cat, for that. I like that a lot. And Crystal's posting follows. Yes, Crystal does follow the manga a lot closer. What up, Geek Boy? Welcome in. Kendo looks like it'd be fun. TGU, Kendo is fucking fun. Kendo is so much fun. I did Kendo from fifth grade through freshman year of college. On and off. I definitely took breaks in between. But I did Kendo for many, many years. I suck at Kendo, BT dubs. Yeah. I never got above black belt. Um, but yes, I, I really, really love Kendo. It's got the aggression of hockey. There's a lot of bashing into people, but it has the finesse of like European fencing. It's a wonderful, wonderful sport. I'm really, really hoping that a oh, martial arts, I'm really hoping my daughter gets into it. Um, I still have my Shanai bag, my sword bag. It is bright neon pink with Hello Kitty. It's a custom made bag that my friend made for me. I've saved it all these years, even though I can't do Kendo anymore because I fucked up my knees and I fucked up my ankles ha, from Kendo. But I hope my daughter will someday get into it. I saved a lot of little kendo things for her. I have a lot of little special novelty Hello Kitty, like my Suba, which is the thing that goes on your uh, bamboo sword, the Shanai. The Suba, which is the guard. I have a Hello Kitty one that was a gift from a friend. And I saved it all these years, mostly because I can't do kendo, but I would like to be a dojo mom. Someday is what they're called, where you don't participate in kendo, but you basically do everything behind the scenes. I could talk about Kendo forever. I fucking love Kendo. It's a huge part of my life. So I'm really hoping my kids get into Kendo. Kit Kat says, you killed my father. Prepare to die. Thank you for the Inigo Montoya. Has your cream mother appeared on stream? Yes, once. I wasn't around earlier if she was, because of course I might check out the VOD. Uh, but I'm curious about what she looks like. Nothing like me. I like to look at my parents and try to see if they resemble their kids. Yeah, so she was here on... I don't think anyone clipped it, which... On one hand, it's actually very nice of chat for not clipping my mom because I think she'd be kind of shy about that. But not a lot of people look at our clips anyways. But I can go back and try to clip it. But my mom was on stream. I'll have to look it up. Whatever day Tina and her got here. Or no, it was the day after Tina and her arrived of last week. So I think it was like Sunday or Monday of last week or the week before. She was here and she did come on stream for about 30 seconds to one minute. She looked at chat, she said hi to the camera, she read chat, and then she walked away. But my mom was actually on stream for like a hot second. Also, uh, Somali, if you really want to know what my mom looks like, I will DM you a picture of her and me next to each other. I can also show you, since you showed me a picture of your baby pictures, I can show you one of my baby pictures, and you can see if I, the baby Kathy looked like my mom. You can, you can see if we resemble each other. But yeah, she was on stream for one second. It's safe to say you didn't duck the ribeye. It, so, it's safe to say you didn't duck the ribeye. I did not duck the ribeye, geek boy. That's wonderful. I'll have you know, I cosplayed as Fezzik before. Also, the cocktails look like the soda they were mixed with. So, lots of neon, green, yellow, and brown. I like it. You cosplayed as Fezzik? Hells yeah. If you were in the greater Seattle area and you went to Emerald City Comic Con, I would fucking be your buttercup. And Malin could be Wesley, the Dread Pirate Roberts. I'm all down for the cosplay. I love cosplaying. Uh, we have a cosplay section in our Discord where I've thrown down some of the cosplays I've done before. I don't know how to pronounce that either. You have a steel injector. That's pretty badass, I have to say. We? What is this called? It is called a, where's the box? Meat injector? Where'd the box go? I just opened it on stream. Oh, there it is. Okay. It is called a marinade injector, stabby stabby metal thing. I uh, bought it for chat. It was a channel point redemption. 
Uh, well, we think about it. Alcohol to a human is actually poison, yet we drink it. So garlic to a vampire might not be such a bad thing in small quantities. What? I appreciate you. I'm so far behind on chat. But thank you. I appreciate that. That makes a lot of sense. Gundam was pretty cool. I agree. I like the intro too. God, all the intros were so good to animes back in the 90s. No, and Rosie people. I'm having a good freaking night. Let's go, Kit Kat. Let's go. Happy wife, happy life. Malin can dress up uh, nice once. Yeah, he can dress up. If he really loves me, he will one day uh, be lured into my tuxedo mask fantasy. Come on. Make middle school Kathy so happy. Okay, I'm sorry. I was talking to a Chromecast, and it's changing the text, so I think uh, you can't understand that. No, I got you, Kit Kat. I got you. Uh, he will be because you know what? I had Rainbow Bright, and I cared at four. And I knew Rainbow Bright. I cared, and I loved it. That's right. Rainbow Bright canopy bit. Oh, my God. I loved Rainbow Bright back in the day. That and Strawberry Shortcake. I really like Strawberry Shortcake, too. What up, Mary Todd? Hello. Shit Joe here. Lost Power. Have a Hurricane Wins. Holy fuck falls, Mary Todd. Are you serious? Dude. Well, on the upside, your refrigerator already went out, so you lost power, but you already have a refrigerator out. Total shit show. In Alaska, you have hurricane strength winds? That's crazy. Welcome, man. I'm so sorry to hear all that. Sailor Moon was my first anime. It was my favorite anime. My first anime was Nasca Valley of the Wind, which is a Studio Ghibli one, but yeah. I watched a lot of anime, like 80s and 90s anime is my jam. Once I hit late high school, I stopped watching anime as much. So all the new shit I know nothing about, but you want to talk 80s and 90s, I'm there. Yep. Sailor Moon will always be my favorite anime, though. Ninja Scroll was freaking awesome. It was, it is freaking awesome. You should not watch it as a sixth grade girl, though. It doesn't matter what gender you are. You should not be watching it as a sixth grader. When the internet developed, we were talking about how you send actual versus cassette tapes that are subbed to other people. Yeah, for sure. Yep, Kevin, we were born the same year. The year of the time. I'm technically an ox by like two weeks. I'm an ox by two weeks. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. But we did graduate uh, high school the same year. And when I was a kid, I didn't make kids who were born the same. We're born in the later months of the year. I'll wait to start school. So even though I was born in December, I was put in the same class with the January, February, et cetera, kids. We're almost a full year older than me. Yeah, so I was born in January, so I'm technically the year of the ox. So all my friends are younger than me. Yeah, I, I was I, I was one of the first ones to turn the next year older, which kind of sucked. Jenny, who's one of my best friends, is only four months younger than me. Uh, but it's always an ongoing joke because... Younger? No, I am eight months older than her. Nine months? Eight months. Nine months, eight months. One of those. I'm significantly older than Jenny. Jessica Rabbit is an animated character, and I bet you plenty of folks have a crush on her. Yeah, that should have been my comeback back in the day. Eight minutes, holy moly. I know, fuck me, I'm sorry. Tamahome, and I love Donatello. Thank you, Cat Cat, I appreciate it. Tamahome, Miyaka! Tamahome, Miyaka! That was like the entire anime was just them screaming that at each other. It's good. She takes her time responding to each comment. Yeah, and I'm also slower when I've been drinking. Kunsite and Ma Madazolite. I don't remember Madazolite in the, the Toonami version, but all right. Those are the crystal names. The crystal names reflect the manga names. It was Zoisite, Malachite. Kunsite was definitely one of them. The last one, they changed his name, though. I still think BJ Day is the best self-defense minus weapons besides uh, running away. BJJ? What's BJ? Uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Okay. I like that. I would say Krav Maga beats Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, in my personal opinion. If I were to go back to martial arts, I would probably do Krav Maga. So I says, cool, Kathy. Thanks. Yeah. That'll be easier for you than trying to search through a VOD to clip your mom. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll send you the picture on Discord. My mom is... It's frustrating. Everyone tells me I don't look like either of my parents. And everyone tells me neither of my babies look like myself. So I have four kids. I'm a stepmom to the older two. I birthed the younger two. No one has ever said my birthed children that I fucking carried for nine months. I fucking pushed them out myself. No one ever says my kids look like me. And no one has ever said I look like my mom. It's kind of frustrating. 
Fuck genetics, man. But apparently I have my mom's personality and my grandmother's personality. So genes still play a really strong role. I am very similar to my mom in personality at times. And I am very, very similar to my grandmother's. It kind of skipped my mom and came to me. But my two, my, uh, the Caucasian grandmother and my Korean grandmother, apparently I am like very similar to them. So I guess that's cool. But looks wise, no, you can't tell I'm Korean and I don't look like either of my parents. And my kids don't look like me at all either. Fucking jeans, lopsided ass shit. Obviously, you know, uh, you can trust me not to share with anyone else. Like that. Ah, that's true, Somali. That's true. But I mean, I don't, I, I don't really care. My mom cares. I don't care. But yeah, fair enough. I grew up in Florida and it took me forever to go to Dragon Con. Dragon Con's the shit. I want to go to Dragon Con in Atlanta. I could not believe it took me until I was an adult. I had no idea how awesome it was. Dude, Dragon Con is fucking way better than Emerald City Comic Con. Dragon Con, I think, is like one of the top cons of the, of the U.S. There's obviously San Diego Comic Con. There's BlizzCon, which is video games, you know, but it's still a con. BlizzCon, Dragon Con, I would say it goes Emerald, or not sorry, San Diego Comic Con, Dragon Con, BlizzCon, and then Emerald City Comic Con is the ranking of it. The fact that you can go to Dragon Con is amazing. Malin cannot be Wesley. He does not have the, the lips. I don't know about that, Mary Todd. I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Have you seen Malin's lips? My husband's lips are like, it looks like he gets lip injection. He's got really full lips. It's crazy. It would be hilarious to see him play Wesley. Uh, my first con was actually well known. It was the Harry Potter because it was the first convention for Harry Potter in Orlando, Florida, says Kit Kat. Uh, but that was a new con. So my first original con was Star Wars in Las Vegas. That's awesome. My first con was called Baka Con, which does mean idiot in Japanese. And it was when I was in the sixth grade. And they now have changed it to Sakura Con, much more appropriate name. And yeah. Yeah, my first con was in the sixth grade, and Sakura Con is now still going. I try to go as many years as I can, but I fucking love cons. I don't like music concerts. I don't like uh, football games. I don't like anything that's really crowded, lots of people in one spot. Comic Con being the exception, or nerdy cons in general. Um, and kind of because my first time was because a large con, and uh, not like the first year of con. There you go. In Chromecast, I uh, built that wrong. It's I know I got you, Kit Kat. I totally got you. I don't actually think you could have watched a sixth grader. Our years, I was like ten or eleven. U.S. got dubbed version of it. Of uh, which one? Of which one? Don't think you could. What What could I have not watched as a sixth grader? Ninja Scroll? Oh, I watched Ninja Scroll. I did watch that in middle school. I don't know if mine was dubbed though, because we bought it, and we we rented it from Blockbuster in the foreign film section. It was before anime had its own section. I made Kiska's B Day pupcakes, and I'll post a pic. Thank you, Mary Todd. I appreciate that. Can't wait to see. Oh well, I am I am uh, your year of the rat, and I'm a year younger than everybody else in my class ahead of me because I barely made kindergarten by one month. Oh. My brother is Year of the Rat, Cat Cat. So you're about the same year as my brother. He's, uh, 84. Yeah, the Year of the Tiger sounds much cooler than the Year of the fucking Ox, but Ox is still better than a rat. Fair enough. Well, it depends. I mean, I'm gonna say yeah, but it depends on who you talk to. I'm also glad that it wasn't born either. No offense to you, members of the or born either. My brother was a rat. Pig and rat are probably the worst. Lena, my two-year-old, is Year of the Pig, and it's hilarious. Her favorite food is all pork products ironic as fuck. I'm not sure if they are not as stigmatized in Chinese culture, so I might be wrong in years. Yeah, well, I don't know. I think there's pros and cons to every zodiac. Yeah, honestly, the closer you get to MMA, the better you are at defending yourself. Like, jujitsu will trump uh, a lot of things if you don't understand wrestling techniques. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like the idea of judo, too, because I'm pretty small. Um, I'm only 5'2". I like the idea of using the attacker's uh, energy and flipping it back on them. It's very pro, tiny person friendly. Also in that regard, I really like the idea of Wing Chun, which was developed by a woman for women. And then uh, Bruce Lee also, and uh, Eat Man 
popularized it and they used it too. But originally Wing Chun was developed by a female, for females. So I would also like to do Wing Chun or Krav Maga. Those are the two that I'm kind of leaning towards. And I said that Jace looks like you. He looks more like you than Malin for sure. Somali, I appreciate you saying that. Okay, so you said that in my brain, I just hear the 20 billion other people who say that he doesn't look like me. But I appreciate that you say. Some people say he doesn't physically look like me, but his facial expressions and kind of the way he talks and his like uh, idiosyncrasies, those mimic me. But physical features, he doesn't look like me is what most people say. But he des definitely has my personality. He has my terrible sense of humor as well, which is great. Because you can't, you can honestly, because you honestly can't defend yourself against something you can't defend against. Fair enough. Uh, kickboxer versus jujitsu. Jujitsu player will win against. Oh, for sure, against a kickboxer for sure. Uh, no matter what, regardless. There's another reason why I'm not really big on taekwondo. I'm all about the KP Korean pride, but I don't do taekwondo because um, it one I have really short legs and it's a lot of kicking. And uh, I just, I didn't think that it was practical. If I were to use a martial, like granted coming from a girl who did kendo, not a practical martial arts. Um, if I were to do another pra um, martial arts, it would be to actually defend myself. I never did kendo for defending myself. I did kendo for fun, for sport, for community. Um, but if I did uh, martial arts now, I would do it to defend myself. And um, I don't think I would do Taekwondo. But I'm down for some jujitsu. I'm down for Krav Maga. There's, there's a lot more to do now. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Florida. I'm in Boston. Go socks. So I didn't understand how close I was to Dragon Con and how great it was until a lot later. But honestly, not in a bad way. Yeah, you can still go back. Posted pecs in general. Thank you so much, Mary Todd. Oh, I almost caught up on chat. That's amazing. Yeah, Dragon Con, Mary, can really get crowded. But as long as you have a hotel room, it helps. Fuck yeah. Rule number one to going to a con, especially if you're cosplaying, doesn't matter if you live in the city, you fucking get a room at a hotel next to the con. So I live with no traffic, 30 minutes from the con, 20 to 30 minutes from the con. During traffic, it takes over two and a half hours to get through rush hour traffic to get to the con. And then it doesn't make sense. So anytime we go to Comic-Con, my friends and I rent a hotel room and that way, like, if your costume has a malfunction, you can go to the room and fix it. You can wake up in the morning, do your makeup, and just walk across the street to the con. It is, like, if you're hardcore into nerding out at cons, that's the way to go. I actually, my husband does all these, like, Vegas trips, uh, like, three-day golfing, drunken, extravaganza, bromance trip. He does all these trips throughout the year, and I'm stuck at home with the babies for, like, three, four days straight. The way we balance that out is mama gets Comic-Con every year. Fuck, my husband is not allowed to go to Comic-Con. He went once and he fucking ruined Comic-Con because he's terrible there. He didn't understand the point of nerdy conventions because he did not grow up being a nerdy like us. So he went once and it was the worst Comic-Con I've ever been to. So we now have a rule where he's not allowed to go to Comic-Con. So he stays home with the babies and then I go and spend three days two to three days, I rent a hotel room with my friends, and I am baby and husband free for one weekend, and I get to do whatever the fuck I want. It's awesome. The only little caveat there was I wanted to cosplay with my uh, then three-year-old. We did Mad Max. So he, I had him in one of those like car push carts, and he was um, a Mad Max Fury Road dude. I was the pregnant chick in more Martin Joe's pregnant wife. So I was wearing what looked like a fairly skimpy costume, but I was fully covered, I assure you. And I was pregnant eight months with my daughter. So I was fully fucking pregnant wearing this like slave girl outfit. My son was a Mad Max dude. And then my friend Robert was Mad Max and he had the chain on his mask, right? Or he had a mask, right? With a chain. And then he gave the chain to my three-year-old. And I was pushing Jake and we totally decked out the car to look like a junk car so he was being pushed in this like junked up car he was dressed up like a mad max dude he was holding a chain which was hooked to my friend robert who was dressed as mad max and i was pushing him as a eight month pregnant chick looking like one of morton joe's wives 
It was the best fucking cosplay ever. And it was also ridiculously cheap. I think Jace's costume was free. My costume was free. And I think Robert spent 20 bucks at Goodwill for his. Best cosplay I've ever done. I fucking loved it. But yeah, I'm all down for it. When you go to, when you go to a, a, any sort of convention, rent a room. If you plan on being there more than one day, rent a room. It's so worth the money. The only thing was my husband had to drive to rush hour traffic, drop off the, the then three-year-old, two-year-old, drop him off. He cosplayed with us around the, the convention for maybe five or six hours. Then he passed out. My husband came through rush hour traffic again, picked him up, drove him home, and put him to bed. That was, it was the best thing ever. It was so awesome. I didn't, I didn't have to leave the con. My husband just dropped off the kid. We cosplayed, and then he took the kid back home. Um, okay. Okay. It does help to have a hotel room. I got overwhelmed and was able to just go up to the room for a while when I was kid. Agreed. I mean that when you were young, we really didn't have anime in the U.S. Yeah, for sure. I was born in 86. We're the same age! Cat Cat, we're the same age! I was also born in 86. It took a while for anime to actually be dubbed into the uh, TV in the U.S. Yeah. Is there, uh, is there a Sailor Moon and then there was Gundam Wayne, Dragon Ball Z and all those were related to the first ones? Yes, exactly. So I actually started watching anime. Um, so we're the same age, 86. So I started watching anime when I lived in Idaho in the fourth grade. Fourth grade is the first time I saw it. Um, and I don't know how we got it. I think we, I think it was Blockbuster or I just grew up in a really nerdy household. So I remember my first anime might have actually been Dragon Ball. Not Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball. When Goku was a little kid, that was one of my first animes along with, um, Nasca Guardian or Nasca Valley of the Wind, but it was before the name. They did a name change. It was actually called Warriors of the Wind first, and then it got redubbed and it was called Valley of the Wind. But yeah, I grew up in a very nerdy household. We watched a lot of anime. And I was the only one that I knew who watched anime back in the day. Ha! Uh, Kit Kat also agrees. Tiny person, I agree. Actually, like working with the Bow Staff the best. Ooh, Bow Staff's cool. Mary Todd says, Jace totally looks like me. Now you guys are just trying to make me cry. Thank you. Um, yeah, I could, uh, yeah. See, I would do, can do that and then have a taser. Good idea. Kendo. Yes. Yes. Everyone told me because I did kendo, I should carry one of those baton stuffs that collapse down and I could just whip it out and kendo the shit out of someone. I was like, I don't know if that would work. Um, and I mean, an illegal will take you down with taser. Oh yeah. You gotta be a nerd to get it. If you don't get the con, you can't enjoy the con. My husband is not a, he's a geek, he's not a nerd. So he's very sciencey and techy, but he's not like anime. He likes some sci-fi, but we're definitely different types of nerd. I'm the one who got him into Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons. I grew up with Dungeons and Dragons, GURPS, all that MTG, all that stuff is what I grew up with. My husband did not, he was like into sports and shit. Like a, like a normal person. Um, but now that we're together, uh, I definitely taught him the correct path, the way, the light. He's seen the light of nerddom now, but, uh, my husband doesn't get it. When he goes to cons, he's just like, you, there's a panel or a thing. You go to it. You're done. It's like when you go shopping, you have a thing you need. You go into the store you buy the thing you leave. He's very like mission oriented. Whereas when we go to a con, we cosplay, we walk around, we look at things, we take pictures with people. It's very much like just walk around and have fun. The fact that there's no plan, my husband hates it. He bitched the entire time. The one year I took him to Comic-Con, he bitched. And then also that was the year Robert took his friend to Comic-Con or his family. And they also bitched. And then we met up with each other later, we're, later on and we're like, we're never doing this shit again with other people. Like from now on out, we are connected forevermore. We are doing Comic-Con together. Family is never allowed to come to Comic-Con again. Like he, he had a horrible time when he brought his family. I had a horrible time when I brought my family. I mean, the kid was fine. My husband was terrible. Henceforth, we have a, a agreement. We only go to Comic-Con with each other and then like cool people. So he will bring his girlfriend. Robert's going to bring Fung next time. I will bring Jace, like my kids. My husband can drop them off or whatever. But you don't bring family to Comic-Con. They fucking ruin it. Also, sometimes when you bring significant others that you share a bank account with, when you start going around the shopping section 
they like judge what you buy or they say things like, no, you can't buy that or that's a waste of money. It's a lot easier when they aren't there. Also, speaking of awesome loot, check this shit out. So, one year, one year, I was a very bad cat free. So, one year I went to Comic Con and I left all my cosplays on the stairwell banister. And I really wanted to cosplay Catwoman that night. So, my husband had to drive in rush hour traffic for two hours to bring me my Catwoman cosplay so I could, I could kick off Comic Con in style. I felt really bad about that because he had to drag a friend with him so they could get carpool. So in return, I bought him this shit. How cool is this? It is a pewter beer stein with a Zelda leather strappy thingy on it. But this was an apology because, and like, this is the kind of cool shit you get at Comic-Con. You don't get this easily. This was at Comic-Con. I bought it for him as an apology because I made him drive in rush hour traffic because bad Kathy. Because I forgot my cosplays. Like I, I, when I go to Comic Con, I bring a suitcase of like my normal stuff. I bring a suitcase of just makeup, and then I bring up usually my costumes. But um, I forgot the last one, and my husband had to drive to drop it off, and I felt really bad about it. So yeah, I bought him that as a thank you gift. Uh yeah. The baby cosplay. Oh my god, I'll, I'll, I haven't posted the pictures yet on our cosplay section of our Discord, but I talk about this cosplay every now and then, so I should really post it on our cosplay section, but Jace fucking rocked it. Also, his hair was really long when he was doing the Mad Max, so my husband, the day of the con, my husband shaved his head into a mohawk. Yeah, and then after that, he just had really short hair, but fucking legit commitment to the cause, Jace had... A mohawk the day of Comic Con. It was awesome. Let's go, 86. Yeah. Fun hanging out as usual. I'm super sleepy. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up soon. To, uh, anyway, Somali. Super sleepy since I'm an early riser. Now, anyways, I'm going to sleep now. Bye. Have a great one. Thank you, Somali, for being here. Heart you. Thank you so much. Can't wait to hear about the new special friend. I'm so excited for you. Well, you found it early. I didn't. My parents did. But yeah. I found on TV when I was in middle school. Yep, sixth grade Sailor Moon, and then, uh, what was that? I don't, um, what is that? I don't, uh, remember. Amazon, like the comic book of the channel, yeah. Uh, and it turned into anime of Sailor Moon, and then Dragon Ball Z, and then Gundam Wing, and then they did replays, and eventually they went into a weird fast food thing that I thought was hilarious, but honestly it was stupid. Yeah, so a lot of the shit that I watched, um, as a kid was not kid appropriate. So I watched, Ron Mahav wasn't too bad. I watched Crying Freeman. So here's the thing. My family was not good at censoring shit. So when I was a kid, there was an anime foreign film section, whatever, right? And we just, like my parents would rent whatever was in that section. They didn't even pay attention to ratings and shit. Cause sometimes things would be rated R because of foul language. My parents didn't care about foul language and whatnot. So they would just, and they didn't really know what was gonna happen. So we would sit down Friday nights, we'd have pizza and anime. My parents would put the uh, anime on and we'd watch it. And sometimes the shit was really not appropriate for kids, but we just watched it, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I watched a lot of adult anime at a young age. Not great. Not a good idea. Which is why I censor the shit my kids watch now. Because I know what it's like to watch shit you shouldn't watch at such a young age. Yeah, I watched a lot of inappropriate shit at a young age. I don't even know why. I saw, uh, what was it, Vampire Hunter D? I saw that shit really young, too. Vampire Hunter D goes with today's theme. Should not have watched that. Music. I saw fucking Event Horizon in the sixth grade. Dude, you do not let an 11 or 12-year-old watch Event Horizon. I have a 12-year-old right now. My uh, stepson is 12 as we speak. You don't fucking let a kid who's 12 watch Event Horizon. Fucking A. Not only did I watch it, my friend Jenny, who was here on uh, Tuesday nights, she was at my house that night that my parents rented Event Horizon, and we fucking watched it. To this day, she was so, like, I remember that time I went to your house, and we watched Event Horizon. I was like, God, I'm so sorry about that. God, fucking, my parents had no, not bad, bad. 
Yeah, I'm a geek and nerd. Know the different things. Thank you. I'm definitely more of a nerd than I'm a geek. I know people uh, change up the definitions, but by that definition, I'm a nerd. My husband's a geek. Also, you take me to Dragon Con and he can go geek out in parts about the cryptocurrency and network security. Yeah, that's my husband. That All that shit's my husband. Cryptocurrency, network security. Basically, the uh, black and white hacker stuff. And then you can do the whole cast of me and we get after from uh, 6 to 2 a.m. Let's go, set cat. I'm down. I'm down for that. What up, Alex? How are you? We were just talking shit about my husband. How are you? Welcome in. How's Joe? Uh, cast me equals costume. That looks awesome. Uh, I would love... It's so, I, I love it. I would use it so much. I know uh, Zelda and Zona is not my favorite uh, video game, uh, yet I love that mug. Yeah. I, I, he really loves Zelda. Zelda was one of his favorite games, linked to this past specifically. So I got that for him. We also have a Zelda cutting board. Um, not my favorite game, but definitely a big nostalgic thing to our uh, childhood. If you ever have a baby and a push card, I saw a pic of them doing the game with both swords behind them. Oh my god, this is really cool. Yeah, my kids won't sit still long enough and they're both way too big to fit in. Even my two-year-old, she's two. She's the size of a four-year-old. She's fucking huge. Her dad is like twice my size. I'm petite and short. My husband is a fucking Viking. So babies took after him and she is the size of a four-year-old. She's two. She's fucking two. And she's the size of a giant. So I can't fit her in a push cart. I can't even fit her in a stroller anymore. I actually had to get a special stroller for her, or um, high chair for her, specifically for special needs kids. She can be, I think that fits up to 250 pounds, that high chair does, because my daughter is special needs, and there is like, she outgrew every fucking high chair there was. So I had to get this one just for her, because she's so fucking big. Yeah. So thank you. Uh, but I love the idea. If I could still put her in a push cart, man, all the things. Does anyone here think I'm funny? Jelly Belly, I appreciate you being in chat, but no, I really don't think anyone thinks you're funny. I think you've actually gotten complaints for being borderline very rude, but I'm more than happy to keep you in chat. That's why you have not been timed out or banned today, but I hope you stay. I, I like having people chat with us, um, but try to keep it polite and nice. And then people will think you're funny and you probably won't be on the cusp of being banned. I don't know. I don't remember. There you go. Uh, yeah, I was in Dis I was a Disney Channel kid and didn't get to go to Blockbuster until later. And the Blockbuster was super small. We were down the fucking street from one. We cheated. We totally cheated. Our house was down the street from Blockbuster, which is why we did it so much. I don't think there was any way anime in our Blockbuster. Uh, so it, I got censored by itself. Fair enough. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, kids now see so much shit I never did as a kid. Yeah, fucking TikTok. You know my, okay, so my 12-year-old was watching TikTok, and he was like, oh, he was laughing hysterically. It was a short clip, and it was the funniest thing in the world. And then in the background, I heard the song, cut my love into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing, don't give a blah, 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 blah. And my, my, my 12 year old was laughing hysterically at the song. And I was like, I don't know what was going on in the video. I just know the song that was in the background. And I was like, dude, do you even know what song is playing? And he's like, I don't know. I was like, that's Papa Roach, bruh. It's called Last Resort. It's a song about suicide. And his face just was like, totally went, what? He was laughing so hard at whatever the TikTok was. And I was like, dude, that's Papa Roach. That's. And he was like, kind of like mumbling along to the, come on love into pieces, like, like blabbling along to the song. He's like, do you even know what you're singing? Do you know what that song is? I know what that song is because I was an angsty teenager and I blasted that shit in my dark, depressed, goth, emo, cyberpunk days when I had blue hair and a skateboard. But that was me when I was a teenager. Now when you're fucking 12 with a very cushy life, God, he was singing Papa Roach. Yeah, kids these days. They see way too much stuff. Yeah. Link to the past. I couldn't get past the sword. I couldn't pick it up. And I didn't know how, uh, I didn't know what I did wrong. But as a kid, that was stuck in my point. And me and my little brother, uh, where we couldn't do it, picking up stupid sword and didn't know why. Yeah. So, uh, set cat, that's, that's me too. So right now I'm streaming every day. Next year, my goal is to get good at Vigima games because I'm 35 years old. I grew up in a 
very nerdy household with lots of gamers. That is my background. However, I was never really allowed to play video games because I had two older brothers and there were only two controllers. So I spent most of my childhood involved in video games, watching video games saying, no, you should move that block over there and then move down that there and then the pathway will open. That's what I fucking did. I was the peanut gallery. So I never really played video games. I don't have the twitchy reflexes for first person shooters and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm now married to a game developer. He's a software engineer. He fucking makes video games for a living. Also, my 12 year old, my 16 year old, and my four year old all can be categorized as hardcore gamers. I'm the only one who sucks. So next year, my goal is to get good at Vigima games. Specifically, I want to play Mech Warrior 5 because I have a legit fetish for mechs. Legit. I fucking love mechs. I don't know what it is about big stompy robots that gets my gears going, but I do love them. So my goal is to start playing Mech Warrior 5 and other mech games, maybe also uh, Squadron, Star Wars Squadrons, and maybe also Elite Dangerous. All piloting games with a threader, a flight stick, and rudder pedals, which I have downstairs in my little mech station that I built because my husband sucks and wouldn't build it for me, so I built it myself. But yeah, that's what I'll be doing next year. I will be playing far more Vigima games, trying to catch up on the fact that I suck at video games, even though I'm 35 and grew up with all video games. Half of our fucking streams are themed off video games, and I can't play video games worth shit because my brothers ne never let me play. Yeah. Yeah. Um... When I, when I think geek, I think of D&D, comics, and anime. Really, TGU? When I think geek, I think chemistry, physics, la 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 la. When I think nerd, I think D&D, comics, and anime. But teach them. Nerd just uh, makes me think of bookworms. I'm also that as well. I'm also that as well. I think uh, that particular song uh, goes to the heads, however. I think most do not. So yeah, they get exposed to a lot of things that they shouldn't be, for sure. Untitled The Simple Plan was solid too. I didn't read that or I didn't hear that one. We're good. Joe goes back to school tomorrow. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Yes. When the kids are stuck at home, usually mama has to drink more. The more time kids are at home, the more moms drink. That's just the way it is. Yeah. I played Battle Tech and Mech Warrior 5 House Steiner for the win. Yes. So your house Steiner. Um, so I'm still getting into all the mech warrior culture and lore. I do think I will be hiring a tutor specifically. I don't know specifically. Um, so I have a couple of friends who have volunteered to be my lance mates. So um, hopefully it works out really well. I'm going to be a terrible person to game with because I do think keyboard and mouse is the more efficient way to go. I will be a better gamer if I embrace that. I'm fucking stubborn. I insist on doing rudder pedals, flight stick, and a throttle. That just makes me feel like I'm in the mech, and that makes me happier. Because I grew up playing Battletech. And by grew up, I mean I played it a bunch of times and sucked really bad at it. But I love the idea of feeling like you're in the cockpit of a mech and playing it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to suck horror bad, but that's what I'm going to do. And uh, hopefully they'll hold my hand and walk me through it because I'm so bad. So bad. I'm rather with a book and even uh, like drawings of the flip card where you can see what the result is and can be known what to pick, uh, where she's like that. But the game, there was nothing we could not figure out. It's hard. Yeah, it's totally hard. To this day, I have no clue how to pick up the stupid sword. Nerd is more science, geek is more D&D &D stuff. Oh, my bad. I had it backwards. I always thought nerd was more D&D uh, &D and then geek was more science. All right. Wait. Nerd is more science, geek is more D&D. &D. Sci-fi. I am flipped. I'm actually both as well. I will say my husband is far more math and sciencey than I am. I am more D and D, Magic the Gathering, anime. So we're both in that category, but we're two sides of the same coin. Oh, so I can't uh, build our own computer. That's awesome. So I, again, being the youngest and being the female in a very sexist household as a kid. I got all the leftover parts of my two older brothers. So we had a computer room with all these spare parts. So I actually, I was very lucky. I actually had a computer, though we were very poor growing up. Um, but because everyone in my family was in the computer industry, one way or another, I actually had my first computer in the sixth grade. 
the rule to having a computer was you had to build it yourself. So I had a motherboard, I had a video card, I had all the stuff, I had the power supply. I built my own computer in the sixth grade and then I was required to install the operating system myself, which I did, but there was a hiccup. But later on, I was not blamed for the hiccup because you actually had to know computers to know why it didn't fully install or whatever. But I built my first computer in the sixth grade. I'm now 35 years old and no, I don't do that shit anymore. Like I'm, the thing is like now that I'm married to my husband, he, because this is his living, his job, his life force, I don't touch computer shit because that's totally his jam. So my computers are now all built for me. Everything is now done for me and handed to me on a silver platter. My stream, 100% set up by my husband. My OBS, my everything. I created the account and the, the, the name. Everything else, the alerts, everything was all created by my husband. Anything tech related, I now do. It's kind of like being, it sounds gross, but it kind of sounds, it's like being married to my brothers. Like they did everything and all I did was cook them food. That was my entire childhood. Now that I'm married, it's the same thing. My husband does everything for me and I just cook him food. Same thing, the same thing, but it works for us. I, I used to be able to build my own computer. I don't think I could do it now. I use Hotas, Abhana. Use fancy as fuck. Hotas, Hotas is like three times more expensive than my SciTech. That shit's expensive. Madeline looked at a Hotas and he's like, no, I'm not buying you this shit. Like, no way, out of our budget, you don't get that. And I was like, but it's a Hotas, that's what all the fancy Meg Warrior players use. But no, he would not let me get a Hotas. I got a SciTech X52 because that was the affordable option. Yeah. How could this happen to me song? Oh, I don't remember that song, uh, TGU. Megware Game Balance has made some strange changes to the mech strength the way, uh, away from the lore of Battletech. Interesting. The Mech Warrior 5? Yeah. I have no idea what any of that means. I'm excited to learn, though. Yeah, like a nerd is quantum mechanics. Okay, then my husband's a nerd. Hallelujah! Oh my god, he did so well. Uh, he just knows more, so you let him do it. Yeah, yeah. If, heaven forbid, he had coma and fell asleep for a couple years and I had to survive doing all the tech for our house by myself, I could probably manage. I could probably research things. We have enough friends. I could probably pull myself up by my bootstraps, but you're right. It's just more convenient because he's here and he like is very passionate about it. He also stole my gaming monitor because he's, an, I was about to say he's an ass. He's not an ass, but he legit stole my gaming monitor. Dude buys me this beautiful uh, curved monitor like widescreen curved monitor it was a nice brand too what was that i can't remember the name i think it's got like pointy things on it i can't remember he bought me this very nice gamer widescreen curved monitor because i used to have a tri monitor set up for mech stations because i felt like the three monitors kind of simulated a mech pod the problem was when you're playing mech warrior you then have to do all this shit to stretch the game over the three screens and it kind of warps it so what we did instead was we got the curved monitor, so you still got the widescreen feel, but the game, it was a lot easier to get any of these Simpit games to go with a widescreen monitor. So that was fine. So I, after a little bit of initial fuss, I was like convinced, okay, you're right. Skip the three monitor setup. This one widescreen monitor for gaming wise, like Squadrons, Elite Dangerous, and uh, Mech Warrior 5, I actually grew to really like the curved widescreen monitor. As soon as I get comfortable with it, fucker steals my monitor. And then he makes up some bullshit excuse that it was for work. He does work from home. He does do video games as a career. He does need a pretty elaborate setup for shit. But it wasn't, no, he stole it because he has the same monitor and he has two, it's in our Discord under general, he had the two curved monitors stacked on top of each other and then he had two long monitors on the side. So he has this beautiful, gorgeous four monitor setup. Nah, dude, the only reason why he stole my monitor was so it would look pretty. Fucking stole my monitor. I'm so bitter about that. Um... It takes a lot of work to learn stuff and you don't have to work. That's why I do it. Exactly, set cat. Exactly. I I have like two two little ones 
two big ones plus a household to manage. I have other shit going on. No, no point in staying up on that. Plus, if he's passionate about it and it's part of his job, I just let him take over that and I do my thing. Use it for elite dangerous and flying that shit too. That's what I want to do, Alpana. That's what I want to do. I can't solve calculus equation. I can't uh, go to other people. I can't do ish. I'm 